Four new Adult Me pets and a birthday update? Let's check it out. If you didn't know, Adult Me goes and hosts a birthday update every year, because that's how a birthday works. And you might have noticed that they didn't do the sixth birthday yet. This is a quick look at what the fifth birthday was in case any of you guys didn't remember. In the birthday updates, they go and have their own birthday stand, which features some limited time items. Every single time, we go and get a butterfly, but we also go and get all of these fun petware, accessories, toys, you name it, always something interesting. Last year was the release of this legendary petware, and also a fun badge and some pretty cool looking shoes. Alongside that, you could have gone and picked up a butterfly for 1,500 bucks. I'm sure lots of you guys know that there are so many different types of butterflies inside of Adopt Me. Why are there so many different types of butterflies? Well, the creators behind Adopt Me is called Uplift Games, and Uplift Games is a butterfly for their logo, hence why this is literally called the Uplift Butterfly, because Uplift Games logo is this butterfly. Which is why every single year they celebrate on their birthday by releasing a new butterfly. For anyone curious to see what the brand new butterfly looks like, here we go. It's pretty cool, it's very large compared to the other butterflies that we have. And you might notice in the background there is a new jungle update. This update is coming out on Thursday, which means if you haven't gone and picked up the current pets that are inside of this jungle update, then you should go and pick them up now before they go and leave the game. So if you're like me and you've been putting off going and purchasing these, I recommend going and getting them now, as after this you won't be able to go and purchase these pets. So this Bird of Paradise, I've got to go and buy it right now because this thing is leaving the game in two days to make space for the three brand new pets. Which also means we're going and getting another Robux pet, as you probably expected. Good news is, I'm going to go and give away some of the brand new Robux pets to you guys completely for free. Simply like this video and subscribe to help me reach my goal of 1 million subscribers. It's been my goal for a while, so help me get to 1 million. Let's now go and check out what those three brand new pets coming into the jungle update are. Starting off with the bird. The bird is a rare rarity and is going to cost you 1,100 bucks. Apparently the bird is called a Kasuwari. I've got no idea if I pronounced that correctly, but that is the name of the bird. It's very strange, it's blue, and it has an actual horn on its head. Definitely not something that I was expecting to see as a pet. And then there is the rare ring-tailed lemur. This time the Robux pet is in the middle, which is strange because they've always been on the far right. But this lemur right here is going to be a rare rarity costing you 100 Robux. I actually do like the design of this one. Kind of looks like it is like an ultra rare or something, but I don't know why they just keep making the Robux pets rares. Definitely an interesting take. I don't know why though. But for 100 Robux, it's actually a pretty cute designed pet. So I'm pretty happy about how this looks. And then there is the third pet, which is another fish, which is actually extremely affordable. This is called the Common Angel Fish and will only cost you, ready for the drum roll, 250 bucks. That is like the cheapest pet that has ever existed in Adopt Me, right? That's so cheap, 250 bucks. That's a bargain for a cool looking orangey fish with a stripe in it. That's actually really affordable. And all of you guys probably have enough bucks to even buy enough to make a neon, which is quite nice as most people can't afford to make neons of these pets. And the fact that this is a common, it's gonna be pretty easy to make neon. The birthday butterfly is actually uncommon, again means you guys will be able to go and make this neon pretty much instantly as the amount of tasks you need to go and make a uncommon into neon is a lot quicker than it is to go and make like a legendary into a neon by like 10 times faster because that's just how the pet rarity works. If you've got a legendary, you got to do more tasks to age the thing up compared to a common since they're common. So in case any of you are confused, why is Adopt Me celebrating their birthday when their birthday was actually one month ago? I believe Adopt Me's birthday was on the 13th of July, so they are over a month late. They claim the reason why is because they've been busy going and doing all of the other updates, which is fair enough, I'm quite surprised they even bothered to mention the fact about the birthday because it's a month late. I even made a video saying Adopt Me forgot their own birthday, but you know what, I guess they eventually remembered it. 
So good news is, there's actually going to be a whole event stand. So as we can see here, there is a giant cake and the butterfly matches up. There's some other things going on here. There seems to be some balloons, but this section right here, I know it's small, but this is where the petware is going to be, which is pretty exciting. As for this lemur, this guy's absolutely adorable. I like how this thing looks and it says it's a jungle pet refresh. This is the bird. Um, no, that's the bird. This is a fish. Silly me. And then this is the butterfly. It looks like two butterflies. It looks like a butterfly and then it grew a butterfly behind it. So it's pretty cool. I wonder how much this is going to be and uh, how long the event's going to last in the game. In case you guys want to know the location of it, as we can tell from that screenshot, it's always to the left of this bridge. That's where they go and host these little events. The stand will be right here where this tree is, where you guys can go and celebrate Adopt Me's birthday on Thursday. In the video, Adopt Me also confirmed that they're releasing a actual book. They're releasing a journal. At first, I thought that this was a journal inside of the game so you could figure out pet values, but no, it's an actual book. And I have just ordered one, and believe it or not, it ships tomorrow, and it will be in my hands tomorrow, which is exciting. I'm getting a book for the perfect pets journal. Record your pet collection with top tips, facts, and fun. So I've bought that so I can share it with you guys and let you know if you need to go and buy it. So I spent my money instead of you doing it as well. So come back tomorrow if you wanna see me go and review the perfect pets journal in Adopt Me. Adopt Me's also been going and releasing some other types of merchandise, such as bedding, like for your actual bed. You can go and buy and adopt me bed! Yay! Hooray! <laughs> Hello you! There's a little penguin on it, there's uh, a silly duck, is that what this pet's called? And then there is a unicorn, and then you can flip it inside and you get this. So there's actually no toy code with this one, um, because it's, it's not a toy, so you know that's kind of how the toy codes work. Oh no way, the Adopt Me Pets multi-pack? I have got to buy this. Oh, there's so much. They've added so many new things. Um, Adopt Me Mystery Pets 5 centimeters 10 pack. Alright, let's buy this as well. I have no choice but to not buy it. They also have a Squishmallow of a Queen Bee. I thought that was like only exclusive to America, but now they have an Adopt Me Squishmallow. I think this comes with a code, but I'm not sure. Oh, includes 10 pets. I thought you got 10 mystery pets, but I guess you get what there's on here. This one has a code as well, and it also has a task board where you can scratch off tasks, which is kind of fun. And then it comes with like the safari themed pets. The code gives you a first aid bag, which doesn't seem anything exciting, to be honest. I think everyone preferred it when you actually got like an item that you could use in the game as well, such as this Bees Blaster, which was basically a candy cannon, and that meant that everyone wanted to go and buy the toy just because it has a code that gave you the item in the game, compared to this, which gives you a first aid bag, each to their own, but I would definitely prefer an item that uh, works in my game. So let us know your thoughts. Are you gonna go and buy these new toys or new products? Let us know in the comments. Click this video here to see me trade the 10 rarest pets in Adopt Me. If you like trading and you want to know your pet values, then go and check out this video right here to see what will people offer me.